we are at the residence. I kind of like this residence. It's a simple place. The colors of the windowsills really highlight the uh, color of the uh, walls and other bits. What the hell is the... F oh, there it is. The front door. Just kind of curious. I think they actually start you off outside the house so you can do a little perimeter check. Should have done that. I'm going to do that in the door. future. Wait here a second. All right. I think it's gonna. Oh, but you're knocking on the door of the dead woman's house. I mean, you expect to be anybody home? It's kind of an old place, though. It's interesting decor. Uh huh. Forced entry or forced exit. Not quite sure which one. Probably entry. Because otherwise, they can just use the door. Freeze! Get your hands in the ass! Is what you might hear from someone who got their words mixed up. Get your hands in the ass. Put your hands up in the ass. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Jimmy creeped? Creeped and jimmied. First thing, let me do a perimeter check just to make sure we're not missing anything crucial. Like uh, murder weapons and such. A lot of water faucets. Aha. Found evidence. A banana peel. That's how the burger slipped away. <laughs> Here we go, lawnmower. Need to work the home address again. Now oh, come on, let's uh, let's not get too distracted. We'll go back in the front door. We'll make a complete around uh, thing around the house. Do I have something interesting in the trash though? Nope, nothing interesting in the trash. Uh huh. Here we go, a broken pot. Come on, examine the broken pot. making noises like there's evidence nearby. It has that, like, suspenseful little ding, ding, ding. Like, evidence is nearby. What the hell is... There's a guy with the flowers again. He's really, uh... Oh, there, we're, we're drawing attention. Well, you know what? I'm having trouble here. Could you use your help? How about these boxes? They're suspicious looking boxes. Okay, man, I'm gonna go in to see what's going on. Aha! Uh -huh. Clothes and things. This must be the laundry room. And this must be their laundry detergent. Oh, me. Well, no, because his suit is so exquisitely clean. So his laundry detergent is useless. But how about all these bottles of beer? Are they using beer to wash their laundry? Are they psycho people like that? Uh huh. These are definitely low class people. There we go. Forced entry. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? Yeah, you why? Think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a thirty dollar suit. You got another thing coming, Buster. Oh, he's right though. Exquisite suits. No way, man. Uh huh. Alcohol. It's no use to me, unless. You're thirsty. This is the alcohol they got in everybody's place. Los Diablos. Uh huh. Dirty dishes. Doesn't look like anything. Well, it looks like a jar that someone's put on the sink to get washed. But actually, it's not even used yet. Uh huh. If you sober up, you so can find Jacob me at Department 2. Having problems. It speaks to motive. So, this is Jacob. Jacob is telling her to still meet. weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. There's a I'll phone here. Neighbors. Don't take all day about it, fellas. I get nasty when I canvas the neighbors. Man, what a mess this place. Galloway, Another one of those combs. There we go. A picture. Regular Amelia Earhart. The ring looks distinctive. Yeah, she's wearing the ring. Evidence. And then we got a jewelry box. Let's further investigate it. Uh huh. Tiffany. The rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. This is junk. All right. I don't know. How about the um, comb? Yep. Maybe. 
No. What? Fingerprints? Why, why, why? Maybe you've no. I want to know what you're about to think. Alright, how about this? Bottle of hair color dye. She's not an original blonde. Come on, turn it over. Turn it the other direction. It's an airplane. It's an airplane. It's an airplane. Okay. Crap. Don't need that crap. Don't need that crap. Let's continue and spe Oh, wait. Look at that. No, no. Stop, stop. Stop. Turn around. Is that a giant knife on the floor? Oh, that's a shoe. Damn, these 80s clothing. What is this? this is no, it's a homemade silencer for a gun. Or something. It's a lethal weapon, I tell ya. Oops, I knocked some shit over. I'm disturbing the crime scene. There's ties and stuff. There's not, no ties. Shirts, a dr Is that a dress? Oh, wait, there's three little buttons on the, on the, on the wall. Oh, that, that's just circumstantial. Aha, newspaper. And this newspaper is gonna give me a little backstory. Let's see, family burned to death. Oh, that looks like fun. Cops a house for you. You said I had to go back, doctor. So this is crazy, doctor. Fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Oh, are yeah. you taking well, the medication I have prescribed? Taking too much you of it, said apparently. The house would be empty. I heard them accidentally screaming. Killed people. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. Hey, You're killing me. Said the house will be the empty. Deaths were unfortunate. He also said that. He, I also you said have dealt that the with death be before. Empty. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal. With you said the house will be empty. How can I find peace? By slamming the phone a little bit harder. I wonder if I'm missing bits of this story. That'd be kind of crazy. If like I didn't catch all the newspapers and then miss bits, that would suck. I've only found three so far. Alright, let's have a look. Evidence. Look at that. Evidence frickin' everywhere. A key. This doesn't pertain to the case. Well no, but it's it's a it's key. It's you know, you get it in the word, it says a thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Broken dishes. Alright, we'll continue walking around. Kind of aimlessly. Looking for some crap. Ah, a gun! No, oh, it's not a gun, it's a shoe. Oh no. Size nines. Above average for a lady. It's a large woman. Oh, it demands a cross dresser. The man who wears a male size 8 wears a woman size 9. Is that what the case is? It did look like they have quite a party here. There's cards and things on the table. Um, and this leads us back to that sloppy, crazy, messy kitchen where we've been already. Right, so that's no good. Let's uh, go back in here for a second. Come on, show me something useful. Game. No, no, that's the newspaper. Don't care about the news. Alright, let's play piano. Play piano. Aha. A notebook. That notebook's gonna contain useful crap. Glasses. Glasses. Aviator glasses. There we go. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. What? She was wearing these glasses in that photo. Alright. There we go. That That is the piece of evidence that we need. The bit where she was wearing those glasses in the photo. So that... Does it look like there's been a disturbance of the force? Where's that telephone? I am Agent Phelps, reporting for a thingy. I need to put some canvas over the neighbors because they're being noisy. Come on then. Get out. Canvas the neighbors. Is that really what my mission is at the moment? M doesn't M doesn't tell me what my mission is. Um J. J. Journal uh I uh T uh L um uh, tab tab that was it damn it all right um case objectives let's have a look at those down 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 invest 
Wow, look at all this crap on the left. I never looked at that before. Investigate Jacob Henry's apartment and uh, canvass the neighbors. Canvass the neighbors. Excuse that damn loud no motorcycle outside. That is, uh. Should have closed the door, but it gets too hot in. Okay, anyway, let's canvass. Canvas the neighbors. Hello, hello, hello there. I know I'm in your back door. Let's go at the front door. What is it really to canvas the neighbors? Just go around and talk to them or knock on their doors? Be like, hey, you guys know anything about that thing with the stuff? Hello, I'm selling Bibles. Open the door. I think there's no one home. Alright, convenient, done. Neighbors, canvassed, nobody's home. Um, I also probably want to go check the neighbor that's on the back because they might have heard the... Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Forgot one crucial piece of evidence here. Mail. No, no mail? Alright. That was quick. Let's go check this neighbor's house. They may have uh, heard or seen something. Come on, then. Do, do your thing. Come on. Run up the stairs and knock, knock, knock. Okay, I guess this neighbor doesn't want to get disturbed. Oh, wait, here is. You're standing outside here. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. Let's have a chat, lady. Have a chat, lady. LAPD. Are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss. Horgan! Jennifer Horgan! Horgan! I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. Oh crap! That's What's that's going crazy. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but well, you probably are actually. I Celine doubt you already. Drinking. and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. Oh, he no. stormed out, and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. Just listening she to music and shouting? She was very drunk to have been driving. You're sure she but wasn't actually trying to sing? she's not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. Uh, I don't want to screw what with her dander. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? No. I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Actually, I think she did it. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. She's got quite big face. Type thing. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. I can't just let you go and sit down. I need, to, I need to continue the investigation. Stop. In the name of the law. Continue talking with her. Hello? Please. Ah, too upset. too upset. That's what all murderers say. All murderers. I'm like, oh no, please, I'm too upset. What's, there's evidence. I'm still trying to configure out... Configure? I'm still trying to figure out what the... Um, uh, lipstick has to do with it. The lip... It's called the Lipstick Murder. That's the name of this case here. Let's have a look. Can I, um... Climb this back... Whoa! The wall's a bit bigger on the back side here. Alright, well, let's, ha let's ha check it out. Hello? Knock, knock. They may have heard something. Come on, do, do your craziest sprint. Right at the front door. Neighbors? Nope. They're not home, so I'm not even going to bother knocking. That's the way this game works. If they're not home, don't bother knocking. Don't come a-knocking, knocking. Ah, oh, come on. Let me get up this hill. Let me get up this hill. Yay. All right, neighbor, you have been canvassed. Let's talk. Just... Just give me some time to myself, please. All right, well, she's just... Not really cooperative. Let's talk to some of the neighbors. Hello, man. Hello. That's the guy from the paper. Hello, hello. Anybody across the street know her? Hello, hello. The guy who was pretending to be dead. The cops that caught the guy was trying to get. having a season from hell. Come on, hello, police officer. You want to help? Whoa. You in ballet or something? I was so tight I couldn't walk. Alright, hold on, these birds might have seen something. Chase, chase, chase. No, okay, well, let's break in here. Hello, knock, knock. No, I think I've, I've canvassed the neighbors. I think 
all the neighbors that need to canvas was just that single one. Look, he's actually already waiting in the car to go. Let's get out of here. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. How far is Jacob? I want to get out and I want you to drive. I'm, I'm bored of driving. You know the way. You can drive. Yep, because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of bored of driving. I want to get there a bit quicker. Jacob Henry had a violent I argument with his car wife as well. last night. He's looking more and more likely. Yeah, with my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, so you probably deserve it. But this guy the is says bring him siding in with the murderers. Keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you come to your senses, Cole. I always said the work the killer. evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it's still right, is. I almost forgot about the whole werewolf deal. Serial killer bits. Oh, look, it's a photograph from a long time ago that they faked with computer graphics to make it look kind of horrible. Here we go. We've arrived at the area. Jacob Henry okay, apartment. You're going hard. You follow my lead. All right, it's, we're going to go in. Um, guns ablaze. We're going in hard. That's not good to go in hard. You should, you know, wait out, have a. You know, a breather Jacob and... Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under dogs. arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Wait, wait. Well, you can't Celine. do that. Save the dramatics oh, oh my RKO, God. pal. You got a bigger problem. What the hell are you talking about? You come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have yeah, a look I, around. Yeah, I don't think we'll he did it. Oh, too obvious. I'm sorry. I... Let's see what size shoes he has. I think I want to go and see what size shoes he has. I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight risk. Pal. There we go. There's a. Can I what? Oh, there we go. Is the note he wrote? You can see what the note is. Whenever you're not drunk anymore, baby, you, you come around and see me later. Come on, come on, a little bit further to the left. And here, come on, get that bit. There we go. I'd like to offer you something. And about my wife. Be back do something about my wife. Ooh, this is this is quite an evidential thing. I need you to do something the about my problem wife. There is what to do about the old lady. Yeah, this is uh, quite some evidence, actually. You need something done about your wife. Um, doesn't necessarily mean murder. Necessarily. But it doesn't look good either. Aha, shoes. Let's check the shoe size. Come on. There we go. And it's a uh, size 11. It's much too big. Size 11s. Yep. You know what they say about big shoes. Various things. Also, let's see what size this hat is. Nope, they won't let me show the size of the hat. Right, well, he's got an alibi. Is that his shoe size? Oh, whoa. Is that blood stains on there? Doesn't give me anything to go on. Um, but how about that dark, splotchy red bits on there? No? Not good enough? Also, who leaves the baseball bat just laying around? Usually, don't they, uh, like, put them away somewhere? Like, in a, in a, in a cupboard or, or something? You know? Can't any of these doors open? I'm trying to mash the keys on here. It's giving me, like, freaking... Come on, open one of these doors. No, okay, all these doors are no-goes. So he's got a baseball bat, and there's a note that says I need you to do something about my wife. So that is a murderously type of thing. This is the way in. There's nothing uh, really outside his apartment. This is kind of a crappy apartment, actually, if you ask me. Uh, see what what's in this box? It's quite an evidential box. Or um, aha, that book, evidence, the alcoholism illness. Nothing significant. 
No, I think it's significant. He's actually trying to help his wife because his wife had a massive drinking problem. Oh, the baseball clock. Aha! Uh -huh. The screwdriver. The number one murder weapon. I don't think so. No? So many murder weapons in this particular case, and none of them seem to fit the bill. Okay, so actually, wait, it looks like he's just moved here. Because a lot of the uh, boxes are still unpacked, he's just too lazy. First of all, movement, blah, blah, blah. let's review the evidence that we have. Lipstick is uh, carmine lipstick, unused found in the victim's handbag, bumper club lighter, size 8 shoe print, writing on the body, on the naked body by the way, missing, ring missing from Tiffany Co. box, blunt force trauma, license plate dingy dingy ding, which I haven't actually... Um, uh, gone through yet. It's on the KGB radio. Forced entry into her house, a female shoe, which is quite a uh, big one. Marital, marital problems, and death threat notes. Impressions from a note written by Jacob Henry concerning wife's son. Size 11 shoes. No match to the victim's injuries or imprints at crime scene. Alright. Well, let's... Uh, so who could have killed Celine? Where did she let's go Let's talk night? with the guy. A bar, I suppose. Wait, what was the question? Look, I don't know. It almost looks like he doesn't know. I don't even know the way. Who could? We know that she drinks, Jacob. Drunks have regular haunts, places they feel relaxed. Yeah, I think he was maybe done. Celine did most of her drinking at home. She didn't have many friends left. Many, oh, alcoholics many alcoholics do. do. Okay, well, not real friends anyway. Well, yeah, got that one wrong. Okay. Let's talk about the last contact when with the victim. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. All right. Maybe I should say lie. Because I have evidence of the woman. That's a lie, and you know it. You tailed her, watched her come out of a bar, and then beat her to Whoa, death. Whoa, that's a Admit bit far. That's... Why would I do that, detective? Damn it, I'm actually... That's, I didn't mean to do that. Um... Maritable problems or death threat note? Uh... Yeah, that's not what I meant to do anyway, and this is marital problems. My wife was a drunk. It was a sickness with her. Doesn't mean I didn't love her. Yeah, I got that one totally wrong. I didn't mean to. Would you stop loving your wife else. if she was unwell? No, I wouldn't. Got that one very bad wrong. Motive for murder. Let's let's have a talk about this. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. I think this is a lie because you got the note. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back go. that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? There we go. There's the note on your thing. Now I have the note. Death threat note, come on. Scroll, scroll, and hit it. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. All right, truth is coming I out. Was trying to have her committed. Oh, I got that one right. Okay, so let's talk about your alibi. So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place. I came back here, I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. He works for a huge aircraft company. Not the going out type. He's not the going out type. Let's have a look at my notebook. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, uh, it's probably true. I can't, uh, I think it's probably the... Oh, wait, he's... 
So you were here, sketchy up looking. in bed, while someone was out there beating your wife's brains out. That's all you've got. I never get this right. I'm gonna get it so wrong all the time. Talk to the bartender at the Bomba Club. He'll tell you he called here last night, and I answered the phone. We're still gonna need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Uh, Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the trap and you just couldn't stand case. it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're gonna tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Oh, fight, fight, fight. Don't remember what the buttons are. Okay. You're awful hot to do that. Seriously, I don't remember what the fucking What's buttons button? are. Doesn't look good for you, Jacob. What's the fucking dodge button? Fuck me, what is the damn... Hold on, is there a way to look at the damn controls real quick? Because I forgot what the damn buttons are. Aim, mouse acceleration, game control, keyboard and mouse. Forge, back, oh, run, toggle, call, partner, interact, leave, club. Aha, uh -huh. hold it to block. And click it to dodge. Then there's Q for grapple. Um, and what is punch? Raise fist, right click. Oh, I need to do that. Okay, and attack with. Okay, okay. Let's try and do that one more time. I need to raise my fists. There we go. Didn't I do so okay on the first time? Let me see how far do I have to go. Do I have to talk to this guy again? Because if I have to talk to this guy again, I actually We're still going to need you to come downtown, oh, Mr. Oh, no, that's this bit. Okay. We can this get is the fight started. Hold right-click and hold space to block. Or, or right-click to raise fist. I don't know if I have to Kill tap it or wife? hold it down. It was a loss of the trap and you just couldn't stand it I should watch my own damn video Shut and find out what I'm supposed mouth. to do. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, come on. The DA goes all gooey over Get over this drama. Alright, let's hold it. Doesn't look good. Okay. Just... Damn it, I lost my hat. You're awful hot. What's this bunker? You're not being wrapped. <laughs> Shitty at this, as usual. Grapple. Come on. Swing, 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 and swing, swing, and. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hit him, hit him when it hurts. Oh, now the color is back. Alright, I'm trying to figure out what the damn thing is. Just holding space Call or tapping space. Call it in and get a squad or... car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Check for messages. I'm going to find out about that license plate. Phone. Where art thou? Phone, phone. There you are. Checking for messages here. Shift, EE. -E. Yeah, there we go. All the damn controls. Operator, give me dispatch. Hello, dispatch. What's up? What's up, dispatch? Putting you through now. Hello, operator. I am dispatch. Phelps nice dispatch, to meet you. 1247. How can I help, detective? Well, I'm looking for information. I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, detective. Also, do you have messages for me? You have a message from the coroner. Do you uh -huh. wish to be put through? Yes, please. Yes, Give me the message from the coroner. Corridor. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. Oh. So the cause of death was the blunt. No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. That's crazy. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? Stomping. He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Okay. Operator, give uh, me R and I. Uh, nice. Okay. 
Uh, don't know what to say, really. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2Boy8899. 2Boy8899. Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Alonzo Thanks. Mendez. A new Any other messages? Dude. One, Detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews Central to be set what? up immediately. Got it. Okay. We're coming in. All right, great. Um, I need to go somewhere else. Uh, let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. What do we know about this case? Anything useful? Not really. I'm going to get you to drive again, buddy, because I'm, I'm uh, not in the mood. You're behind the wheel. And Should where we go exactly to Mendez? are we going? Let's go to Mendez first. The suspect who picked up the woman from the bar in this car. So this is uh, the closest thing we got right now to the Brother potential said she took a real counter. Look at that car on the left. That's Maybe if nice. he had been a little firmer Sweet in the car. beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love watch out, watch out. Don't crash anything. Don't I crash. have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. Nearly crashed. Nearly crashed. Ooh, that was close. Nearly crashed her. And these are the disco ball lady holder thingies. Come on, then. Let's see if we can figure this out. The apartment. Mendez's. Mendez's apartment. We only have 13 minutes till lunch. We're trying to get this case done before lunch and it's not really working. What was the apartment number again that I needed? Let's investigate this. Any ideas? Aha, uh -huh, 16. Let's follow Jacob back to the station. Something about getting jumped makes me all itchy to lock him up. Mendez, apartment 16. You want to go follow? I want to go in here, man. You guys go ahead and you go ahead and go back to the station. I'll take care of this. Mendez, apartment 16. It's probably like way up high. What is this anyway? Oh yeah, it's just telling me he's on the very top freaking floor. On the very top floor. That's okay. I can use a bit of exercise. I haven't done any great stair mastering since uh, the great run of the thing. Wait, hold on. Is this the right floor already? What floor is this? 10. No, that can't be it. It needs to be a bit higher. Come on, get around the corner a bit. Get around it. Here we go. 16, right in the end. Don't Got bother the nicest knocking, place. just kick the door in. Okay, kick. Take a look around and see what you can find. Whip out the gun. Alright, let's see what we've got. we got a matchbox. Right away we know what kind of place they like to go out for drinks. I don't think this is going to help us. No, it did help last time, but not this time. Aha, baseballs. This guy's a baseball guy. And cow lover, apparently. Well, let's let's check out this painting. Yeah, definitely the cattle, this guy. Sicko. What's he got on the table? Aha, a mug. Nope. What you got there? What, what is it, boy? What you find there? What you find there, boy? He's an art lover, apparently. Right, okay, he's just trying to throw me off. Being all weird and shit. Aha! There's that same key! So I found schedule. it? No, it's the same key! Never mind then. Alright, look at that. Tickets to something. Film strips. He's taking pictures of her. Nope. I can't pick these up either. Okay, let's proceed to the kitchen, where all the crimes happened. Aha! Uh -huh. This coffee appears to be... Gold. Dawn. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Oh, these eggs look delicious. Seriously, actually, it appears that there's nothing relevant in here. Some food. It doesn't appear to be connected. No, it doesn't appear to be connected right now, but later on... Optimistic, Cole. Alright, how about the bread? No? It actually looks like there's nothing interesting in this place. What about right behind this door? Can't look. How about outside the window? Can we get out the window? Doesn't 
this guy have like a bedroom or something that we can go into? It must be right here. Let's get in here. This will be where we find the evidence. Ah, a size 8 shoe. This one must be a size 8. Ta da da! Gotta get this to Ray. Size 8s could help place Mendez at the scene. Plus, look, it's got a bit of mud on it and stuff. What else we got? What else we got? Ooh, a gun. Which means he's a criminal. Criminals have guns. Not sure this means much. It's a fucking gun, man. What do you say it's not? He's got a hair dryer. I thought this was a. Mendez was. Oh, whoa. Okay, wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm talking about. Oh, the lipstick. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. Yes. This is this is a very good clue. And um the don't mention the thing this is the blood and let's whip it around. Consistent with Celine's injuries. Yes. The blood can be typed. They can type the blood. They can't do DNA yet, but Yeah, this looks like a very good uh case. Um you're not gonna mention any of the blood, that's fine. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Pinkerton. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? No, he Thank was your stars you trying to frame break. somebody. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Chase scene. Do not lose that <laughs> son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there. Stop right there. This is the pro Reese. I don't have my gun to fire off a warning shot. Come on, get up on there. Jump, jump. Assassin's Creed style. On, I, I probably can't jump down there. I should probably don't just need to do this, Alonzo. slide. Jump that last bit. Very good. And leap of faith. Nice with the roll. Keep his hat on. Slide down this pole. Come on, then. Here we go. He's getting away. He's getting away. Get in and drive. Oh, I have to get in and drive? Why can't you just drive? Alright, here we go. Car chase. Get out of my way, ladies and people. Are you gonna shoot him? Are you gonna poke his tires out with your um, gun? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Straight. Okay, there he is. Thank God for the minimap. Also, you think that people running away from the cops make him look guilty? Isn't that a thing? That the police have like, oh yeah, he's running from the cops, makes you look guilty. If you're not cooperating with the police, I need to pin him. Let's see. I'm gonna guess he's gonna... Hit it! Clean this asshole off the road! Come on, come on. Come on, shoot him. Don't go to sleep on me! Get me back in close! Damn it. That's what just got me off the street. Yep, he's going. He's got quite a damaged uh, wheel, I think. I did shoot out a, a tire of his. Hit him, Cole! Spin him out! Oh, crap. Oh, that is... No, no, he's not allowed to keep going. He's not allowed to keep going. You are busted You're there, sir. The murder of Celine Henry. Look at this. There's nothing left of this car. Flip that sucker. Okay, so all the evidence points to him, and unless there's something crazy like someone's trying to frame it or whatever. Maybe there's some interesting twist to this. What, what does he have I to do with anything? Goddamn thing. I wonder what he has to do with anything. He's got the right size shoes. So we're back at his you apartment. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps. That's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. So was he the, um, the city has a new and werewolf guardian. with the wolf gang? What's Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. The district attorney. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. All right, so let's have a shot. You're going to give me a shot? You're not gonna give me a glass. No. Okay. Right. That's fine. I don't drink anyway. Let's see what I did. I did. I did pretty shitty with the uh, the questioning of the victims, but in the end, I got him. I've got nearly all the clues. I failed nearly, 
I've gotten nearly half the questions right. Alright, so, case notes, the suspect is in the back, even if you did leave Jacob, sweating in central lockup. So Jacob really didn't have anything to do with it. He just got pissed off because the guy was all mean to him. Alright guys, thanks for watching this uh, bit of L.A. Noir, and I'll see you guys in the next case. Thank <laughs> you.